so we're back again with now another NBA 2K18 My Team gameplay, and I'm so hyped for this one because you can see on screen right now, there is 50 seconds to go until this final season of Supermax is over. And you guys can see, this round, I've seriously been grinding because you can see to the right there, the Season 6 reward is none other than Pink Diamond Kristaps. Like, I played 83 games this round to get this card. I finished 141 and 19 for the season. I finished number 5 in the world for this round. And for that reason, there's now only 5 seconds to go until it's finally over and we'll be able to get pink diamond crystal so there it goes and would you look at that congratulations finished the third tier for season six but then also when we dismiss that we finished at the pink diamond tier for the season so that means when i go over to rewards queue i'm going to have two packs number one is round four walt fraser the next one is pink diamond crystal so i'm going to open up this pack i hope that there's no glitch because sometimes as soon as the pack does come out there is a glitch but i think this one should be all good i can see the pink diamond glow and there's the flash right there i'm so excited to do this gameplay for you guys because because Chris Tapps is always a beast. How will the 91, 99 overall do I mean? There he is, Pink Diamond Chris Tapps Porzingis. I'm so excited to do this gameplay because there's the car. And so now when I go over to manage team, you can see my team. The one position that really isn't too good is power forward, but we're going to get that replaced because he's going to be replaced with none other than Pink Diamond Chris Tapps. And look at the card art. It looks extremely nice. 99 overall power forward, 500 cap. He's 7 foot 3, 99 on offense, 99 on defense. Then he has a 98 standing layup, a 90 driving layup, which is huge. Also really good post scoring stats. And 97 draw foul, a 98 shot close, 98 open shot mid range. With then a 96 open shot three 97 free throw not the greatest ball control or passing but really good rebounding with 98 box out 97 offensive and 98 defensive 80 lateral quickness which is pretty good for a power forward and then he does have a 97 block with also an 84 steal which is all right but like all the defensive stats that matter for a power forward are high 90s and then he also has great dunking stats as well with 95 standing dunk 85 driving dunk 85 contact with being seven foot three should be pretty basically 79 speed which i really wish was a little bit higher 68 speed with ball seven 79 excel 90 vertical 89 strength which is actually very good and 98 stamina to go with that as well he does have an 85 standing dunk tendency 95 driving dunk and 95 flashy dunk which is also nice not to mention also a 95 alley-oop tendency the system proficiencies are almost perfect except for triangle once again and i really wouldn't know if they update his badges because it did come out on 2 kmt central before it only had six unfortunately still only has six hall of fame but that's okay because these badges are actually pretty good because he has hall of fame rim protector lob city finisher catch and shoot which is one of my favorite for a power forward tyler scorer pick and popper and deep range dead eye so deep range dead eye and catch and shoot should work like two and two I don't even know what that saying means, but there you go. <laughs> and then he comes with 16 gold badges in two, including corner specialist, mid-range dead eye, limitless range, difficult shots, hustle rebounder, up and under specialist, posterizer, relentless finisher, and also drop step to go with it. So the card definitely looks insane. And yeah, I'm so excited to do this gameplay because it's a 99 overall Chris Stapps Porzingis. So I mean, you guys can see the squad. I am running LeBron at point guard, and but we do have Chris Stapps at power forward. And look at the bench. It looks almost as good as the starters. But yeah, this gameplay is fully based around this pink diamond Chris Stapps and I'm excited. Also, it does look like there's definitely going to be another season to Supermax, which is definitely a good thing. So without further ado, let's get into the first game of the preseason. And we found our first opponent. You can see his team is pretty good. He has that Walt Fraser, so he's a pretty good opponent. So I mean, hopefully we can get off to a good start in this gameplay by winning the tip with Hakeem and then getting it straight to Chris Stapps. He's got the first touch. He's going down, kicking it to Hakeem for his first assist. And I think my opponent will definitely realize that I'm doing a gameplay with this Chris Stapps as he gets his first points. Okay, let's kick it up to Chris steps here and my opponent definitely knows i'm doing a gameplay which is a little bit annoying because i can just see by how tight he's playing as we're taking not the greatest shot and he'll end up missing it we'll kick it back go up for the layup and he's getting free throws so how's his free throw release looking and it's looking pretty cash 96 percent that wasn't even the good best release when he can do a good one 96 again okay let's check out his post moves real quick let's just try and bully him inside get a little pump fake there then go up that's easy buckets i haven't even got a three with him yet which is definitely a little bit disappointing but we do have sabonis on us now can we just get moves on him i don't know but let's just try and beat him off the drive this time go with the left hand he gets it to go as we get another stop on the defensive end and i can just see chris Stapps running the whole way taking a little midi there that was a little close shot i'll take it okay chris Stapps, i see you running the floor he's got the speed he's going all the way and getting another jam 
Is that near Mount Steel? Yeah, it is. Let's just go into the post again straight after. And I don't know what's going on here, but we get a standing dunk anyway. And he is inbounding the ball right now. And I highly rate this. He might be wide open for three if we're able to kick it to him. It's a little bit of a moving shot, which is the reason he missed it. I probably shouldn't have taken that. But let's just take one right in his face. He'll make that one. I'm really liking his badges so far. As that is a terrible shot. Somehow he makes it. Just because Hall of Fame Deep Range Jedi and Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot just works so well together on a power forward. As he's wide open this time. And I can tell you what, he's not missing that shot. And as my bench is now on, I'm actually running him at center. And he's getting off to a great start with an easy bucket. Okay, Chris Stapps might be wide open for me near there. Let's not take that one. We've only got eight seconds left on the shot clock. But we might be able to kick it underneath. Back out to Carmelo for a wide open three. There's the assist. Okay, what am I doing on this possession? I have no idea. Let's pump fake that one. Versing Sabonis. Just go up with the dunk. Chris Stapps wide open for mid range. You better not miss that one. Slightly contested. As I do now have my starters back on. So hopefully we can do a little bit better here. As to be honest, my bench really didn't play too well and Chris Stapps didn't get too many points but we might have a wide open score here if we we're able to kick it out to him for a wide open three Hall of Fame catch and shoot and deep range data working right there and we get another stop too and I seriously think this might be another wide open three if we're able to catch it perfectly and it is Chris Stapps for three catch and shoot once again he hits I really have been taking some bad shots which is sort of the reason why my shooting percentage isn't the best a wide open one though finally hits Oh, what a huge block there. And guess who pulls down the board? It's not other than Chris Stapps. And he's flopping. I mean, I'll take the easy dunk. And he'll miss it. Okay, I did not expect that. But maybe he wants to make a little tougher one. Let's just go pump fake there. Then up the second time. And told you he'd make it. I think I got to call my timeout soon because he's obviously starting to feel a little bit tired as you can see right there and he is double teaming pretty much every possession because he knows I'm doing a gameplay. Like look at how open everyone is. It's so annoying but I'll take the scores. I really do want to make another three with him but as I said he's just double teaming like crazy. We go into the free throw line because we're in the bonus. But yeah dude I just can't deal with this right now because he's double teaming like crazy and I don't really blame him to be honest but it's just I'm trying to do a gameplay. If I'm able to get over 60 points with him though in a game where I'm getting double every single time i'll be pretty happy as he's now on 48 and i'm kicking it to him once again to try and get his 50th point he's just bullying his way through and getting another standing dunk and we did just pull down a rebound with Giannis. i'm gonna throw the lob to chris Stapps. he'll finish i really do want to hit him for a trailing three so let's just try and bait kevin love to come in and then we've got a sort of that one although i didn't take it because kevin durant stepped up extremely nicely you can see the double team just comes instantly we're gonna kick it back to him and try and post us a bonus he pulls down his fourth rebound now i was sort of expecting more rebounds in this game but i mean it's all right. I want to feed him in the post and try and get a post fade or something in this possession. Okay, look, at it's a triple team. What am I meant to do? I don't even know. Let's feed it to him again, though. Get a little post fade. That was such a nice animation. He hits it. Can I please just get a pick and fade to work at least once? I haven't got one to work so far, but this one might be the one. As we kick it to him, he's going on the drive with the driving layup. What a rebound there. That's his fifth rebound, and I need to just try and push this one up. Because I said I wanted to get 60 points, and so far he's on 58, he fouls. As there's now only 5 seconds left on the clock, he's going to try and get another score with Walt Fraser, but we do stop that. And we did end up winning this game by 13 points, but to be honest, it was alright. Chris Stapps definitely had a good game though, in 20 minutes with 58 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, unfortunately 3 turnovers. Did shoot over 50% from the field, but unfortunately under 50% from 3. But he was responsible for 70 of our points, which I mean is pretty impressive. I did find that first game just a little bit annoying though, because he was getting double teamed every single time also one little update his cap did just go down to 300 so you guys already know what time it is it's time to get into the second game and we found my next opponent he definitely does have a good team but we've obviously got the upper hand so hopefully in this second game i can get off to a good start by winning the tip and that's exactly what we don't do but it's all right we're just gonna play good defense against jason tatum he's pulling it out i know you're trying to go baseline i know you're trying to go inside now and then baseline possibly once again but we're just locking up right now I am very much liking this defense so far. Kobe on MJ. I rate that match up too. If we can step up there, that's nice defense. And Chris Tapps does pull down the rebound as well. Let's kick it to Kobe. Kick it back to Chris Tapps. That was a very bad pass. Definitely shouldn't have made that. But I don't know what to do here. Do I just go back up to Giannis? Back down? And then into Chris Tapps here. And that wasn't a good pass once again. And it leads to a turnover. And we are on another fast break here. He's got the ball in his hands. He's going all the way and jamming on them. And this Chris Tapps does have gold limitless. So I'm going to pull that three in his face. And somehow he made it. And right now my commentary and gameplay isn't on point 100% to be honest. And the reason for that is I've just woken up. And I do not feel great like sick wise. But Chris Tapps gets a dunk there. Oh yeah, kicking it back out to him. Wide 
open mid range this time. I tell you what, that's a shot for him every day. All right, let's kick this one to Chris Apps, and he does have the speed to sort of get through. Not really the best there. We kick it to Hakeem back inside, and let's just go all the way there, and definitely not a good shot. He hasn't missed yet. Oh yeah, Kristaps wide open after the offensive rebound. Okay, Giannis is wide open in the corner, but I really want to feed it to Kristaps because he has just been destroying this game. He still has a miss, and uh, let's just try that again. Yep, he continues it. I knew he was going to be good at pulling down rebounds, but I really didn't think that good as he now has 21 points, four boards. And I do actually have my bench on right now. Just give the starters a little bit of a break, which means Kawhi Leonard is wide open for three and he ain't missing that. And yeah, just like that, my opponent did leave the match when I had my bench on. And yeah, you guys can see his stats right here. He had over 20 points, quite a few rebounds as well. And he shot probably like 80%, which is very good. And I know that really wasn't the best gameplay I've ever done with the card, but the reason for that is... I'm really not feeling the best right now, but I still wanted to bring this gameplay out for you guys because Pink Diamond Chris Stabs was the reward card. I grinded so hard to get him and I'm happy I got him. Now the question is, was he worth playing about 160 games for? And I gotta say my answer is no. Just because there is an Amethyst Chris Stapps that does look pretty similar. Because I mean, the best thing about Chris Stapps all year is that he's 7'3". And these cards are like pretty similar. Like a 94 compared to a 96'3". Sure, it's a 99 overall, but 160 games is a lot of time. And if you didn't play them all, don't be too disappointed. But for people like me that really do enjoy playing the game as well, I'm happy I got him and I'm happy I did grind for him. It was definitely a hard grind with 83 games just in this round, but... As I said, I'm happy I got him. Just because look at how nice he looks on my team right now. It actually looks insane. We can pretty much create a full pink diamond lineup if I go like this. And then also put the Amethyst Clyde in. You can see pink diamond central. And that's just because we were able to get this pink diamond Porzingis. So I'm very happy I was able to get him. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay again. Sorry that I feel a little bit sick and it wasn't really the best. But thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Also, Budget Squad and Lonzo's Legacy out tomorrow and the next day. Be on the lookout.